Whoa! Press! What's that in your mouth? What? Wow, Rocky Kitty! It's it's bad from RuPaul's Drag Con, which happened this past weekend. Um, 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 it was delicious. Bah! Bruce, Bruce, you weren't even there. That's very rude of you to eat my badge. I really treasure that. It, I love to drag gun. Oh, oh, you did? Well, I wish I could have gone and I would have eaten everyone up. Nom, nom, nom. I love drag queens. They're delicious. Their butts and their makeup. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, God, Bruce, you're being disturbingly disgusting. I'm going to have to put you away. Mm. Uh, hello, I'm Sharky Kitty. <laughs> And, uh, yes, this is a video that I'm making. Duh. <laughs> Probably gonna have to edit that out. Anyway, um, yes, I'm making a video. I'm bad at YouTube. Uh, I'm not used to this. Get it out. Get out all the shakes and stuff. Let's have Bruce talk instead. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so this is Shaka Kitty's video about the stuff that she bought about at the weekend at Drug Pond because she loved all of it so much she spent way too much money and uh, <laughs> her, her partner's going to be very cross at her. <laughs> this is not how Bruce the Shark talks, but this is the voice that she decided to give me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's get into it, all the things that she bought, shall we? Yes, I, I think so, Bruce. That's a good idea. <laughs> well, anyway, for, for, first of all, I had a fantastic time in Los Angeles at RuPaul's third annual drag con. Uh, it was two days, April 28th through the 29th. Um, yes, if you don't know who RuPaul, uh, is, she is the world's most famous drag queen, supermodel, superstar, and I love everything about her personal hero of mine since I was nine years old. Go figure, I was a weird child. John Waters also was my, uh, personal hero at nine years old. Yeah, somehow I, I got into gay culture very early, even though I, I did not identify as, as anything remotely such until, uh, I, you know, a, a year ago. <laughs> yeah, so, program from, from the amazingness. Uh, this is Kim Chi's autograph. Let's get started with Kim Chi. Uh, the amazing Kim Chi. If you, if you don't know, Kim Chi, she, she was, uh, on, on RuPaul, RuPaul's Drag Race, I think season six. Um, one of my favorite uh, drag queens, Asian. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, if you didn't know from <laughs> from Kim Chi, it's a it's a great Asian dish. But these are these are two things that I bought in order to get a photo with her and her signature um, pins from her line. Oh, yeah. <sighs> okay, here we go. I don't know. Can you see that? Oh God. It says year so extra, and it's a thing of noodles. Oh god, this this is not going to focus, is it? Well, anyway, I'll, I'll upload pictures. <laughs> the little things probably aren't going to focus as well. Bruce, you hold that, will you? And this one says, uh, "Don't come for me," which was the best catchphrase ever on RuPaul's Drag Race. Let's keep Bruce in the conversation because I have an easier time talking with talking with Bruce. Chuck Kitty, what's what's this in your hand? This this little box. Oh, this is amazing kimchi sugar pill uh, eyeshadow that I've been looking for for forever, and finally got to buy at her merch table because it's been sold out on their website for basically forever. And as you see, Bruce, the inside of the box matches the amazing teal uh, color of the shadow. Yes. Oh my! Oh, that reminds me of the waters of home. It looks like the the shade of of a shark that I I would like to fuck. <laughs> oh, don't don't worry, Bruce. I totally understand. Yes. 
Let's let's move on to the next thing, shall we? Let's get, keep moving. Okay, okay. Good, good, good call. Ugh, I'm I'm getting pussy juice all over the carpet. <laughs> I I I hear that. I live in the ocean. It it would be a dry spot if you were in the ocean. <laughs> right? I'm gonna put you put you down for a second, bro. The the another thing I spent a, a shitload on would be perverse sunglasses, three pair. Bruce proves. Bruce approved sunglasses. Could not could not not get these. I've got a tiny tiny face, square face. It's terribly hard for me to find sunglasses I like. They have to be good quality and they have to be small enough for my face but not look bad on a square face. It's you wouldn't believe how hard it is. Aviators are good, but they're usually too big. So these are a pair that uh, people in LA went crazy over. Mm -hmm. Reflective silver. I had to take off my glasses for it, but I'm pretty sure Bruce Bruce looks pretty fetching in them too. Uh, thirty-five bucks. All of these were thirty-five, which uh, they weren't even con prices. They're regular prices, which I I was pretty nuts over. They had a great selection. Uh, there, there wasn't anyone that that was looking at them that wasn't freaking out. There was a pair that Beyonce likes. Those were uh, way too big for my face and made me look like John, John Lennon, but everyone else looked great in them. I really like these. They're, they're going to be photo shoot worthy. <laughs> they're, they're definitely a indulgence purchase. But how does Bruce look? I'll, I'll find out later. I, I think he likes them all. Yeah, I'll, I'll find out when he can talk again when I put put my hand up up his throat. <laughs> and uh, there's there's this leopard there's this leopard pair that uh, I really like, but um, you know Mother's Day is coming up and my mom, you know she she's pretty pretty well off, you know not not gonna go into detail, but. It's really hard to buy her presents because she has everything. If she wants it, she buys it, and she she hates having clutter. So, uh, but she really digs leopard print, and she lives in Florida now. So there's a lot of sun. Uh, I really think she's gonna like these. Yeah, they they look okay on me, but you know maybe she'll let me borrow them. I'm not gonna take all the packaging off. Because, you know, like I said, they have to go to, they have to go to my mama's. As, mu as much as I make fun of uh, my my mom on, on Twitter and stuff, you know, I, I, I love my mom, of course. She, she, she's my mom. And, and I want to get her a nice Mother's Day present. And I did, on accident, thought I bought it for me. Hope she doesn't watch this YouTube and before Mother's Day. <laughs> That's definitely not gonna happen. She does not view the YouTube. Yeah. Anyway, very happy with those purchases. Please don't kill me, Storm Shield. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure they'll pay for themselves in in my my trade for publication photo shoots. But like I said, perverse. Sunglasses. I, I have their card here somewhere, but uh, on Twitter, it's just at perverse sunglasses. Um, perverse, like the word. <laughs> Great packaging too. These all all the boxes and the sleeves came came with your purchase. All right, so there we go. There's two two of my you know, indulgent spendings out of the way. Let's get to these, shall we? My my beautiful paper dolls. I'm just gonna turn turn down the brightness of my computer so I'm not tempted to look at it. Okay. So these I wouldn't I wouldn't have even known to look, uh go find these, but Rue the the convention advertised or not advertised, posted a picture on Instagram saying that they were there uh, and it's amazing so oh god the, the artist I'm just gonna look it up really quick 
because I, I would be remiss if I didn't plug the artist. And of course my phone is just saying something like, Carrier settings update now! Why haven't you done it yet? I don't feel like it. I don't know what that means. Carrier settings update. Why do I care? Say more. Tell me more, Siri. Tell me more. <laughs> Alec Houston. That is who made these. And I will show you her Insta. Or at least a picture. <laughs> Yes, that that is the beauty. Info. There we go. There. That that is the Insta profile that you want right there. I don't know if you can see it, but at Alec Houston. Who knows if I'm pronouncing it right? I will for sure put in the description who made these. These. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so these beautiful paper drag queens by Alec Houston at, at Alec Houston on Instagram are Latrice Royale, the amazing kimchi, and Milk. They, he, he said that they are his, his favorites that he made and I, I took my time picking them out. Uh, because there were so many amazing ones. I would have gotten Alaska, but she had already claimed her, her doll for herself. Go figure. <laughs> uh, and and there, were, there were only three that had been claimed so far, and I was shocked because these are so beautiful uh, and, and intricately made. And there, there was not much uh, creator, like, made content... Uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for here? Original content at the con. There were a lot of prints for sale um, and, you know, uh, so many amazing vendors and exhibitors, but not, not a ton of, you know, original art, which was surprising because most of the cons that I go to, uh, you know, co comic cons, anime cons, even like gaming conventions like PAX, there's stuff like that. So so that was cool that that they were there. Uh, his his booth partner, her booth partner, um, was selling handmade dolls of the drag queens, which was incredible as well. And they are going to be at other upcoming conventions like uh, they mentioned San Diego. So I hope that that is going to happen. Next. We have, this is, this is nothing new for me. I wear Rockstar wigs all the time, but at Everfree Northwest in a couple weeks, I'll be cosplaying Rainbow Dash again. Princess Rainbow Dash this time, though, if I can bust out a crown and such in time. I picked up the long, curly version of the rainbow wig. But I've, I've been lusting after that for a few months, and they had a nice little con discount going on, so I, I couldn't pass it up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry! I had to do it! <laughs> Plus these lashes. I've been wanting these lashes for, for a good chunk of while. No shipping. Had to do it. And the con uh, was the debut of the new drag lashes. These are insane. Like, the, these are by far the tamest of their, their drag lashes line. By far the most natural. Derek. It's Derek, bitch! <laughs> I, I, I definitely wanted to pick these up. Uh, you know, you know Derek Berry? Not Derek Berry. Am I, am I thinking of it right? Anyway, it's Brittany, bitch! Derek, Brittany, duh. Derek, your, your, your songs are amazing. You, Willem's uh, Adore and Alaska. I've been listening to your records, not rec, you know, your songs for, uh, on, on nonstop. And I wanted to pick up your album, but your lines were too long. Why couldn't I just pick up your merch right there? You know, I just wanted to get, get it out and be done with it. Anyway, 
Love these lashes. Love the whole drag line. Rock a lash. Amazing. I'm, I'm really happy that I was able to, to grab these at the con and the wig and those other lashes too. But you really should have had the under lashes available too. I can't get enough of those. There's, there, I wear them literally every time I cosplay and it really brings everything to life. Fuck every other under lashes. You, yes, always, always bring those. A huge stock, I'll buy them. I'll buy them all. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Morphe. Spent a shitload there. My God. My God. And I regret not spending $200 more, which would have gotten me a hell of a lot. I've never even heard of the brand until, until the con. Ugh. What else is in this bag? Who knows? Morphe brushes. Free bag with a hundred dollar purchase. Easily got that. There you go. There's their social media. Insta, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, and then definitely go to their website, morphebrushes.com. I'll be there later today because I didn't pick up nearly enough brushes. It was a treat getting to set up all my new Morphe brushes in my brand new little coffee bean makeup tray setup. All these, good. okay, before I start, Bruce is just hanging out there because he, he isn't, he isn't really into uh, to makeup brushes, but all, all these are natural hair. There's na natural, natural makeup brush hair. <laughs> now let me tell you a thrilling story. <laughs> I'm really into makeup and brushes are, are the key to good makeup. You know, everything, everything starts with good tools, right? I think we all know that as artists, or if, if you're just starting out, that's, that's something I've learned with time and a lot of reading and talking to people is if you, if you really want to step up your game, uh, for forever, invest in good quality tools and the rest will follow, especially with makeup and painting. So I've been looking around for good quality natural hair brushes for a while, but they're really expensive usually, like Krylon, um, looking at their brushes that are natural hair. Sable is what I've try been trying to start with. They don't start for less than 10 or $14, which is a lot. You need a lot of brushes. So <laughs> at this con, hearing about Morphe brushes, they're really cheap. They're really good brushes. I checked it out. And they sell sable, badger, um, what is it? Goat, goat hair, um, and also really, really soft, good synthetic brushes. Um, I picked up a couple of those that uh, they didn't have in natural hair. But by cheap, I mean like four, four or five dollars for, you know, shadow brushes up to, you know, for the big fluffy powder brushes and, you know, like something like, something like this, I think was nine. The, the biggest fluffy powder brush in the, you know, what is it? Sable, Badger, whatever, was about 14, which those are the most expensive brushes because they, they have the most hair, fur. <laughs> but I was thrilled. I, I went I went nuts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I should have gotten all of them, really. <laughs> I'm thrilled. But really, I wish I had more. But that's not all. I picked up this too. Their professional brush kit, which is I I forget what they said. Um I'll have to check online, but it should be all all natural hair. Uh is it Sable? I'm not sure. Anyway, it's 18 brush set. I'm probably gonna save this one for just when I'm going to photo shoots and traveling at cons so that it stays really nice and I can invest in more brushes. <laughs> um, 
And as you can see, it's got the whole whole works of what you need. I do not know which what each of the brushes are. Um, that's that's not what I know, but they <laughs> but I do recognize them from my from my other kits and I know it's you know definitely more than the basics of what you need and it was $35 for all natural hair brushes, 18 of them. Yeah, that's okay. Comparing that to a Groupon deal I got on 20 brushes, which were synthetic. They're nice brushes, but you know, meh. Uh, yeah, that was 20 for 25 plus shipping. Definitely this one rocks it. But wait, there's more! <laughs> I know, right? Isn't this great? Please forgive me, Storm Shield. So, this right here, is this the... Hold on, let me make sure I know what I'm talking about. We got three... Three kits here. Three kits! Wowee! Oh my god, I can't believe it! Oh, here we go! It's the highlight set! I, what is it? What's her name? I don't know. I'm gonna make that up, so I'm not gonna say. The code is DD. I think it's Danger... Danger Diva? Danger Dreamer? Something cool. Glittery and gold. She's hot. <laughs> highlight. Highlight. Highlight set. Oh god, I'll take off the plastic. <laughs> yes! Amazing! I'm so excited to use it. Oh! Oh yeah, <laughs> you can. That's not just. That's not just highlighting and shadow, you guys. That's that's stuff you can use on your lips, on your shoulders, on <laughs> everywhere. And I will. My God. All all skin tones. Each of these. Each of these be. And this one is the blush slash bronzer kit which I I had I had to get because my god do I have trouble with fucking blush finding the right shade and bronzer I pretty much just I've been using fucking wet and wild I don't know what shade I need so hey yes I trust you if you say that this is for all all skin tones and your name is Morphe. And this would be the the brow set. This powder, right? Yes, it is. Thank God. <laughs> I don't have any good brow powder. I've been using all gels and what what have you. Creams. And this this goes from blonde to nearly black. Oh wait, there is some cream over here. Holy shit. God, this thing has everything. I guess these can double as, uh, blocking, blocking out too. My God, picking up this stuff at a at a drag convention was my the best decision I've ever made. If if there's anyone who knows how to fucking do makeup, it's drag queens. <laughs> Let's give it up. Let's give it up. Any girl can slap on makeup and look halfway decent. A man who can look hot as fuck as a woman is a fucking hero. A hero. <laughs> Every everyone at this convention was hot. <laughs> if the Naomi Smalls, I was sitting in the front row at her mug panel, M U G. It's it's a it's a YouTube show she does with Kimchi. Look it up. Sitting in the front row, she stood up. Very short dress. <laughs> that is a fierce tuck job. I I've seen her on Drag Race. So, if someone had said to me, "That's a, that Naomi Smalls, she's a drag queen, she's a man," and I hadn't known for a fact beforehand that this is true, I would have slapped them in the fucking face. <laughs> Thinking that they, they were being a mean liar because 
Naomi Smalls is the hottest bitch I've ever seen. Those legs, those lips, that everything. I want it. I want all of it. <laughs> Props to you. Oh, God. God! I What I would do. Moving on. <laughs> I wonder how much of this I'm going to have to edit out. <sighs> Hopefully not that. This, the Gender gender Bender Cosmetics. This liquid to matte lipstick. I, I happened on this by chance. I saw their name. You, you say you saw their name? Where? <laughs> so cutie, you be, keep, keep focus. You're, you're going off on tangents right and left. Okay, okay. So, so Bruce, <clears throat> I saw the name in the program. I thought, Gender Bender Cosmetics? I need something like that. I want to do gender bender cosplays. Oh, well, what happened? I found I found them. They're really nice people. Um, they they use only male models and make them look fucking hot with highly emotional photographs that made me want to cry. I held it together. Good for you. You do a lot of crying. Thank you, thank you. But I yeah. This was after I had already spent about four hundred dollars, <laughs> but I couldn't I couldn't pass up this color, uh, or you know just I I had to support them. They they're out of a lot of the the vendors at the convention were you know really established in large colorful displays, but not all of them. There were lots of small new independent. Vendors as well. The uh, Gender Bender Cosmetics is one of them, and I I highly recommend uh, male cosplayers, anyone or you know any of us lady cosplayers who are looking to gender bend, look up look at their uh, line because it's all unisex and they really know what they're doing, and their their CEO used to be in photography, now she's doing this, uh, genderbendercosmetics.com or .net. Look up both. Anyway, I'm gonna, I don't have a mirror right now, but I'm gonna put this on because it, it's, it deserves it and it's, it's my new favorite color. So I'm gonna use my <laughs> computer camera. Okay, I have no idea if this is a straight line or not, but hopefully you get the idea. Okay, we're we're doing okay here. We've got we're we're getting through things at a at a decent pace. I think I have no idea how much time has gone by. What? Ugh! I think I think it's going good. Woo! Okay. <laughs> got to stretch a bit. Yeah. All right, I'm a really big fan of this. Picked this up. <sighs> and then I wore the same dye. It got quite a lot of attention in Los Angeles because I, I did not wear a bra. And it is it's very see-through. And I love that about it. Mary Jane Runway, bitches. Woo! This is everything. It's a cat suit, and it's it's see-through mesh. Can you tell? Yes, yes. <laughs> Zips up the back, goes on real easy. Laces up the front, obviously. Velvet. Ugh, these gold rivets. It's really it's really amazing quality. Um, made in America. The the owner, Lisa. She's so sweet. She used to live in Seattle as well and now is in LA. Um, yes, this the, the price was more fair than anything. That's why I had to pick it up. This, I think was only, it was less than 80 for sure. I think it was more like 70. But this is, this is not the only thing they sell. This was just what caught my eye because I like to be as 
naked as possible, usually. Um, but they also had some very eye-catching calf caftan type things that I, I would wear around the city for sure. And uh, things that I, if I, like, if I had a dog, I would have snatched up their little doggy weed sweater, which looked not only warm, which little dogs need. I work with dogs a lot and they get fucking cold. Most dog sweaters are not warm enough. <laughs> and this is fucking cute. They also had, uh, at least just at their table, uh, a like fleece wool cap. It's hard to describe as it's not the kind that you see most of the time. It was cooler. Kind of like a longer Santa hat uh, with, you know, marijuana leaves printed in Rasta colors, but more understated, more like a Rasta rainbow. I, I know I'm going overboard with uh, my, my love descriptions. Oh, and someone when I was there picked up this really cool looking sweatshirt. It was a cut off, not, not really cut off, but you know, kind of came around here to the arms. So some T-Rex arm person like me wouldn't have to worry about this going on. Uh, and it had the, you know, front pocket and, and a good decent sized hood. My God, just, you know, it, they didn't even have that much there with them, but the variety was good. Everything was cool. I was like, shit, I better not come back to this booth <laughs> because I'm going to spend all my money. And it's a good thing I didn't because I, by the end of the weekend, I had spent more than enough to be very worried about my financial situation, but I will be buying a lot more from them and wearing a lot more. It's, it's too good. I love it. Check out my, check out my photos and I'll be linking to them in, in the description. I, I went into a, a long lengthy love post on my Instagram if you care to look at that. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh yeah, we, we got only a couple more things left, so bear with me here. Bear with me. Very excited about Jane Doe latex. My girl Kim Chi is a fan too. Jane Doe latex. They're uh, based, based in Los Angeles. And I've got a latex shoot coming up. So... When I found them, I was stoked. I've been looking at some latex uh, brands in the UK, but since I've never worn a latex garment, I was really worried about, you know, getting it on time, not knowing if it fit. Okay, so. These. Front lace up latex briefs, okay. Oh, these were off the rack there. Okay, I know it's going to be hard to see with my nightie on, but I don't have anything on underneath. I'll take off the sweatshirt, though. I guess I can. Blah. All right, so this is how they're going to go, and <laughs> they will be worn with heart nipple pasties. And I've never worn anything that laces that far down. But my photographer is very excited and I am excited to uh, share it with you. So I hope, I hope you uh, follow me uh, on, on Instagram and Twitter for, for more. Okay, I, I did just notice that there there is some some brown spots on the bum so i'm gonna have to message them about that and hopefully that comes right off because because there's a lot of focus on my ass in these shoots and i cannot have it looking like i somehow shat through my latex shards <laughs> oops 
but yeah, they, they've got a lot of great stuff. They do custom orders. Uh, and my, my pay, my pasties are coming in the mail. <sighs> And I'll go ahead and mention that the 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 other brand that I was looking at was Lady Lady Lucy in the UK, which you know is it looks it looks great. I I'm still interested in someday, you know, getting something from them like the the leopard skirt that they they just put out. But you know, UK prices are insane because the exchange rate. And it's, I'm very picky about colors, especially because of my, my skin tone and if I'm doing like a completely different hair and makeup change, I, I have no idea how something's going to look color-wise. So I'm not going to order something custom from overseas, get it, find out that it's absolutely wrong, and have to deal with, oh... This can't be returned. Well, fuck, I just spent $300 on it. I didn't have that kind of money to begin with. What do we do now? <laughs> All right. Anyway, stoked about the shoot with Jane Doe Latex as the feature, the feature outfit. Yeah, that's, that's what's happening. Okay, now, I, all right, I need to grab a card so that I get the name exactly right. It's Willie and Shy, who helped me, me, with my purchase from, oh my god, where is it? I have so many ways to keep track of my cards that I get at cons. Hmm. Okay. Mother Plucker Feather Company. <laughs> Willie is the guy in charge doing this 42 years and I fell in love with the wings that I saw there. I know they're still in the plastic. I <laughs> Should I take them out? I should, I have to. Okay, fine, fine, fine. If you insist, I guess I can try them on too. Just for you. Woo! I carried I I carried these around the con like they were my fucking child. And anyone who came even close to bumping into them or stepping on them, I, I was like I'm terrible. I'm a horrible person. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. See? My neuroses turn against me. Do you see? Are you are you loving these? Sorry, I, I was looking on the computer. I, terrible. Terrible human. Oh my god. Okay. Let's see. I don't know if I oh I don't know if I can get them on by myself. They're the kind of thing that you really ideally have someone help you put on but they basically go on like this shit They attach with these elastic straps here. And, uh oh. I'm being very careful because even though they were only $50, if you can believe that, uh, I would, I would hate for anything to happen. I'm, Loving these way too much. Okay, I'm, I've lost a strap. I have lost a strap. <laughs> Where is it? God. 
Ah, help me! Oh my god. This is not gonna go well. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck! No! 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 Shit! God. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Oh, I see. It seems to be caught on a feather. Yes, thank God I did not try to do that. <laughs> that would have been a disaster. Okay, here we go. Try again. You can do it. You can do it, kitty. Oh, God. I'm scared. What did I fuck up? Same of the world. <gasps> oh my god. Okay. Oh. Uh. Okay, 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 we can do this. We can do it. We can do it at least for just the test. Ah! In the video. <laughs> ah! Oh my god. Ah, where's Ryan? Ryan, where are you when I need you? He's at work. Ah, fucking truckers. That would be Storm Shield, by the way. Motherfuck. Well, I. Entertaining the world with my antics of trying to attach wings to my body. He is up making us enough money to live in an apartment and eat food. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. ah! I can hear something crackling. It's scared. I'm gonna fuck it all up. Why do I? Why am I a person? <laughs> okay, well, that's. I'd say that's good enough. <laughs> ah, I'm an angel. Anyway. Yes. Yes! I am resplendent. Sorry, I keep I, I keep I keep looking at myself on the computer, cause uh, I I love the image of my of my own self so much, so much. Whoa! Yes, yes. Of course, I would have uh, gotten. Baby Blue for Rainbow Dash, but they were sold out, even, well, was was it on Saturday? No, it was Sunday. They were sold out by Sunday. Uh, so my options were the white or a gorgeous dark blue, which, you know, I probably, I, I'm regretting not buying, but chances are I would regret either color that I did, I chose not to buy, because <laughs> that's me. Anything I don't buy, I'm like, man, I should have bought that. Uh, and, and of course, as soon as I showed Storm Shield, he was like, but Rainbow Dash has blue feathers. You motherfucker. I bought white because, you know, she lives in the clouds and she's... <sighs> And I don't know, I just liked the idea of white. That, that was my thing. I, I thought that, that seems more her to me in my mind. That's my idea of Rainbow Dash. The blue feathers seemed not her to me. And I guess that's all that matters, right? Right. Anyway, Mother Plucker. That pro that's probably backwards on, on, on the camera, but yes, 
go to orders at motherplucker.com, or that's the email. Motherplucker.com, I suppose, is the website. <laughs> and Willie is is the proprietor. Tell tell him Sharky Kitty sent sent you with her resplendent wings. And I'm sure he he will be pleased pleased to hear it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to get way more wings. Uh, they they've been in business 42 years, so they really know their shit. This you can you can feel that these are really really sturdy. Uh, I'm shocked that they were only fifty dollars. It's incredible because I I was uh you know I've been looking at wings for Rainbow for quite a while, and they're you know foam. Buying a pair of foam wings, making a pair of foam wings. I'll still make a pair, um, but I always like to have something perfect to fall back on. Because why not, right? <laughs> I spend enough time on my makeup, at least. Um, but yeah, you know, most most of the foam pairs, as nice as they are, they're, they run like 30 bucks plus shipping if you'd get them online. So... I don't know which would you rather have. Resplendent fucking wings made of turkey feathers or craft foam. Yeah, I know, right? I I know I would rather look like a Victoria's Secret Angel personally, but I <laughs> I know there are probably bronies who completely disagree with me. But this is just in my in my mind's eye, I have always wanted her to have feathered wings. Always. <laughs> That's why I've been reluctant to do the craft foam thing in the first place. My my image of Rainbow Dash is slightly different. Okay, now now how do I now how the fuck do I get these off that that doesn't fuck things up? Fuck! Bruce, help me! Coming in for a landing. Why isn't anyone here to help me? <laughs> ah! Because he's out earning money. <sighs> Thank God. You're welcome. You're welcome, YouTube. <laughs> That's all for you. Oh, and they, they came with replacement feathers as well. In case you fuck things up like me. Or in case, you know, some... Terribly excited brony runs by you to uh, kiss Tabitha St. Germain before she goes and rips rips off a feather to give to her. <laughs> what's next? What's next? It's what's last. That's the question. Ooh. So, okay, we lost we lost a couple feathers in in our madness there, but they're really only the fluff. That is very nice. <laughs> yeah, goddamn. 40, 42 years of experience. You certainly know what the fuck you're doing. Just, just... Oh god. Just saying. There's a pair of wings that they, that they make that's exactly what I want. For my for her plan, <laughs> there's this thing among cosplayers. They're like, "Don't tell, don't tell what you're planning. It's a secret." But guess what? Anything that I'm planning, if if anyone copies it, it's not going to be me. It's not. Gonna, they're not going to have a phoenix, phoenix thing. Yeah, and and good luck, good luck to anyone else, uh, you know, looking into my crazy as fuck brain and copying the exact same thing. So, yeah, I mother plucker the three thousand dollar to two thousand five hundred dollar pair. It's incredible. Makes you look like a Victoria's Secret angel. Fucking resplendent. There's 
there's nothing I want more right now. For my Phoenix cosplay, I've been researching it for two years. Don't worry, another Jean Grey is coming. I just know what I want and I refuse to do it any less than what I fucking want. Sorry. Okay, last thing, last thing. Before we wrap this up, and you can all go home. It's an air freshener. <laughs> RuPaul's Drag Race air freshener. Isn't it great? Ooh, it's a dog. Oh my God, he's walking in the rain. This is free with this awesome t-shirt. Yeah! <laughs> gift, gift for my adopted mama, Holly. I, I would put it on, but I feel like that's rude. You know? Oh God, but she'd want me to because that's, that's what you do. You, you try, you try things on. Like I just did with those ones. Eh, it's very soft. Oh my God, it's amazing. I, I did, I did grab a large because, you know, my, my adoptive mother is slightly bustier than me and, uh, we didn't, we didn't want to risk, you know, it, it being too small when I got home because it, it's a souvenir. <laughs> now I'm going to turn the camera to show you the final item. It's also a commemorative souvenir and I hope I, I can get to it. Excuse the mess. Ah, oh, there it is. Can you see it? It's uh, up there, the commemorative plate. You want me to grab it? Yeah, okay, I'll grab it. Oh, oh my god, my knees. Uh, oh. I'm gonna need a stepping stool. <laughs> or, I wonder if I can just. Hmm. It's gonna be dangerous. Danger! Oh, wait, I can just. Uh -huh. Remember the plate. Stormshield will be pissed that we took this down. They'll have to put it back up. Ugh. Here it is. Oh my god, I've never been the type to get commemorative plates in my entire life, but there was hardly any merch for sale or okay, my correction. The variety of March was very, very small, very curated. The VIP gift bags had everything. Sweat, even, even the humble hoodie. They, they got them, the VIP swag bags, and the rest of us, we couldn't purchase a fucking hoodie. <laughs> the t-shirts were the only uh, clothing item we could buy unless you were a baby. Then you could get a baby outfit. <laughs> But commemorative plate, hell yeah, you could buy a fucking commemorative plate. And I did. $40 worth it. Look at that. I'm, I feel, I'm getting choked up just looking at it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think, I think that does it. That's probably plenty. You've, you've seen what more than enough of me for today. <sighs> but not Bruce. <laughs> you, re you really ditched me there. You really ditched me. You really... I can't do his voice again. You really ditched me there, Sharky. Yeah. I'm gonna eat your face now. Turn this fucking thing off. <laughs> this has been Sharky Kitty. This has been Sharky Kitty's Drag Con Swag Review Video. She spent way too much money, but it was all worth it. Thanks, Bruce. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Th yeah, yeah, yeah. You should eat my face. Uh, mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll be uploading more videos, and I'll see you next time. Uh, bye. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Shocky kitty. Meow. Meow. <laughs>
Oh, I'm not. Yeah! Dragon! Yeah!